I guess what I'm trying to say is there was a point in his class when it clicked for me, which is a thing I want to happen for my students too, where I go, oh my God, I get it. I know what a poem is, and I know why they matter, and I know why the line breaks matter. Um, beyond the metaphor and the imagery and all that other stuff and the narrative and all of that, just the line breaks was kind of a miraculous thing for me to learn. Uh, but anyway, so there's this line that says, here's the line. Uh, I've been, well, I have to meet, read more than that. I've been tripping lately, maybe too much, on the wrong turns we make nearly daily, and mainly how easy to get so stuck on someone. That's the line, to get so stuck on someone. And then the next line says, one-way street, we never arrive at where we meant to go. So I don't mean to be teaching, but <laughs> so stuck on someone means something kind of lovely, way street, where we're not getting where we're supposed to go. So that's when I decided, um, okay, I'm in the right place, and this is something I want to study, and I'll probably have to study it the rest of my life, and I might have to teach it in order to study it well. And so that's what I did. Um, I'm going to read a poem called Vesperal, and I'm not going to tell you until I finish reading the poem why I chose it. And it's a, it's very, it's a good Jim Zimmerman story. Vesperal. <clears throat> Moonlight. Rune light. Blank to blanker pages of wind expunged dunes. Soon it will be required of you to speak of this. Soon to say in a language lost or uninvented what it is comes stealing through the dark to darker June night, post equinox, ghost key to locks on doors like mute, bewildered faces. Think of yourself as an oasis. Think of the vast, unquenchable caravan of souls. Perhaps there are holes through which the dead slip back into being. Perhaps even now they are preening in the seethe and hiss of a dervish sky. Hush. Listen. Do you hear your father calling and calling you to supper? Do you want to go? No, nor is the moon a communion plate, nor are the stars drops of spattered wine. Not this time, though the thought of it flares like a candle touched to the brittle parchment of night. You do not kneel down nor look away, and you hold your tongue for now, spoon tight. <laughs>